And another place that you may have to think about going is analyze, right? This place, if you want to visualize your finance, this is where you have to go. So we are focusing on qualitative charts. So you click on the plus sign here. And then when you click on the pack code cloud, this is what you're going to show. It shows the, the codes that you develop and then the bigger the font, the higher the significant information, right? So this one, two significant information are connected to this, this code. Um, this one, two, the significant information. This one, only one. This one, only one. So the smaller you have, you have less significant information connected to that, right? So you can even show it as a visual representation. There are many ways to show that. Um, you can explore. Another thing that you can do is a 3D code uh, code cloud. So you can also sh it shows it's similar to the first one, but this one is a 3D. The bigger the font, the higher the significant information connected to that. And another thing that you may have to you think about doing is the code application. This one, it will show all the codes and also the themes, but it will show the codes and then it's their connection to the um the transcript, right? So you have the transcript of participant five. This code is connected to the transcript and it, only one significant information was extracted from here to connect to the code. Um, um, you can see here, three significant information was extracted from uh, the, the transcript P2 and connected to this code, right? And you can also see here that there is nothing under the themes. And that's one of the limitations of this using this software, because when you create this table, um, there will be no information here under the themes, right? And also under the, the research question, the only information will be the, the codes that you have, right? And that will show. And also another thing that you could do is the code presence, right? So this one shows whether a code is connected to a specific participant or a specific um, document, right? So you can see here that this code is connected to the document five. And you can see if there's nothing there, this means that, you know, nothing is connected to document five. But you can see here that the themes, they don't have that information. As I said, that's a limitation, right? Uh, it only focuses on the codes, right? Not the themes, right? So that's how you just have to explore and see what you're going to get. There, are, there might be some interesting visual representation that you have to can kind of explore here. And then after that, you can export. You can export any visual information here. You just click on that. This one, you cannot export. It doesn't show here. This one, if you want to show, then you have to show it live, right? Click on it and then show it to your audience. But this one you'll be able to export. So that's all about the deals, right? The deals can be used to analyze qualitative data and sometimes quantitative data. But for this presentation, I've shown you how to use the deals from the beginning, which is where you uh, upload all your transcript, generate codes and categorize the codes to develop themes. And then uh, also I sh I've shown you how to develop demographic information and connect those demographic information to the transcript that you have. So that's all that I have to, for you concerning the deals. If you have any question, you can put in, put in the comment section and I'll be happy to address them for you. So thank you so much for your time. I hope that this software will be helpful for you to be able to analyze your data and also present your findings. So thank you.